I'm going to be going over a paper with a very exciting title, Introduction of Two Cases of Reappearance of Growth Plates in the Ankle After Trauma. This paper is translated from Persian, but I think the title is accurate considering the contents of this study. So I don't think it's a translation issue. Um, if anyone knows these researchers and can contact them, that would be very helpful. Here's the paper. We introduced two young pa patients in these ages in different bones of the skeleton, but with complete maturity at the age of 19. All growth plates are narrower and as longitudinal bone growth stops, the line disappears. Bone growth plate or physis are present at the ends of long bones and are responsible for bone absorption. Reappearing of growth plates in patients of the studies could be due to reversed immobility in any bone. The lucent line is caused by imbalance in osteoblast and osteoclast activity and subchondral bone resorption is a known phenomenon that will occur after six to eight weeks of immobility. So here is the x-ray of before the plastering. You can see, if you don't really see a growth plate line, you can kind of see um, an epiphyseal line of where the growth plate is here, immediately after cast, you can kind of see it here. Um, you can kind of see it open more. Um, so it's possible that, you know, the growth plate is senescent, but just that the bone res resort, but th that's still pretty promising because if you can, you can do the next step would be to get some cells there. So even if it's just reopening that line to allow for the injection of new cells, that's incredibly promising. In old age, all growth plates become blocked and sclerosed and the reappearance after sclerosing and closing is not common. Even if it's not common, I'd no, rare, rarely reappear and it would be absolutely amazing. The reason for the reappearance of the growth plates can be absorption of bone tissue and the reversal of ossification of, in the cartilaginous growth plate that was on the past. Reversal of ossification in the growth plate would be absolutely amazing. Trauma or, or patient treatment may be one of the causes of the above phenomenon. Again, these these were these these patients had fractures, and the fractures could be causing the reopening of the growth plate. The presence of local hyperemia in the fracture site can cause bone re re reabsorption, increase in blood flow. So, with one of the methods that I recommend is to is to increase fluid flow. Well, that's kind of the same as blood flow, which so. Maybe that, that could be part of the reason why um, in increase in fluid flow could increase height. It could increase bone reabsorption and allow for the formation of new cartilaginous sites. We introduced two young patients who underwent ankle class treatment due to trauma and the initial bone radiographs of both patients, only bone and tissue injuries were seen. Um, it's possible, it, it doesn't say outright in the study, but it's possible that in, in usually in casting, they elevate the leg and that could possibly alter um, fluid flow. So that could be a possible consideration, but without asking them, um, it's hard to tell for sure. The first case is 18 years old, um, still pretty, pretty young. And the, so it, it is possible that the growth plates were not quite closed and, but, and they just had an increase in activity. That's one possibility. In the, Radiograph after the trauma, a spiral fracture in the lower part of the fibula with so soft tissue swelling of the ankle scene. So it's possible not that mob immobility causes this, but the spiral fracture. And we do see fractures stimulating the growth plate. The closed both growth plate of the plate can be seen as a fine line of sclerosis. After 78 days, the cast is open and the radiograph, the fracture of the distal tibia healed but a clear loose line in the anatomical location of the, the physis, which was not seen in the first radiograph, now appears. That would be here. But that's that's pretty slim. And this is 18, so it's again, it's possible that he had just had very narrow growth plates and the fracture stimulated the growth plate that caused it to hypertrophy and grow in size. So that's one possibility. Here is the next patient. This one is more exciting. This is beginning. You don't see any growth plate, um, but here you can you can see here you can see the line right here. But but also you know 
there's that fracture here. So it's possible that 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 plays a factor in the reopening of the growth plate. But you definitely can see um, a growth plate line here. And this is all after you can see that it's pretty, you don't see anything here. So that's pretty exciting. No lytic or destructive changes were observed in other bones. And then the control after seven to eight weeks, this loose line gradually sclerosed and disappeared. Mr. Joe, a 27 year old college student, referred to a sprained right ankle. So 27 year olds, so this, this growth plate has been uh, closed for a long time. So if, if his growth plate can reappear, which you can see here, that's, that's very exciting. At the time, there was no trace of the growth plate in the long bones. In the radiographic control after 45 days in plaster of the fracture site, it has been found and a clear loosened line has appeared in place of the bone. So growth plate in the tibia and fibula. There is still a brief soft tissue swelling, but there is a loss of bone. It will not be seen again after 11 to 12 weeks. These loosened grinds gradually become sclerotic and disappeared again. Okay, here's the conclusion of the papers. In these patients, ossification grew in the cartilaginous plates, which can, can be reversed and the bone tissue is observed. The reason for this is either in the trauma, the fracture or the treatment. Was it the elevation of the bone? Was it the immobility of the bone that caused re resorption? The presence of local hyperemia at the fracture site can increase bone resorption and cortical bone tissue penetration of the site. In addition, casting reduces the mechanical load of the organ and its immobility is accepting as a known factor in the creation of focal osteoporosis and the immobile place. And now what's amazing is that they had them in two, two patients and not just one. So that's less likely to be a coincidence. Both patients were young, uh, possible that growth plates weren't fully fused and that the hypertrophy and not much time had passed since her skeletal maturity. I'd say 27 years old is pretty significant amount of, of passing since skeletal maturity. It seems that, that this radiological sign does not necessarily mean the complete disappearance of the, the cartilage tissue and the bone tissue and hypermemia and more osteoclastic activity in this limit cardio, this cartilage tissue that remains. Now this sentence is pretty exciting because it means that the growth plate does not totally disappear. Um, even though in the radiograph, it looks like it disappears, there may be still a little bit of room that's left that can still grow. Now, unfortunately, there's no follow-up to this paper, but this paper is very exciting because it either means that some remnants of the growth plate remain when we don't think they do, or that um, the ossification of the growth plate can be reversed um, and possibly reopen again and possibly inject new stem cells into it um, to get it to grow again. It's possible too that this um, gives credence to my fluid flow theory in that by stimulating fluid flow within the bone, you increase osteoclastogenesis and allow for the cartilage tissue to form within the bone. That would be pretty exciting. Again, if anyone can contact these three researchers, um, here's a name right here. Um, here's the Department of Radiology. If anyone can contact the these, it's in Iran. If anyone can contact these medical facilities, here's the name of the paper. Um, yeah, that would be very helpful. This paper is a very, very exciting paper that, you know, Unfortunately, to, to, it's since 2012, there doesn't seem to be any, any follow-up to it, but it is very exciting and hopefully um, we could see some progress in, in the future. But for now, it remains just a very exciting artifact that has no follow-up, but still gives kind of proof to fluid flow theory in that increase in blood flow could possibly reopen the growth plates.